Many marriages are under attack from demons. Witchcraft attacks from a jealous friend or a family member, the society or the couples themselves. Many marriages have been ruined, separated or dissolved because of this. When a marriage is in trouble, a couple can believe they can do nothing to restore it to its former glory. However, God promises to restore what we have lost. He can restore an early marriage and make it strong. Joel 2 verse 25, the Lord says, I will give you back what you've lost to the swarming locusts, the hopping locusts, and the stripping locusts, and the cutting locusts. It was I who sent this great destroying army against you. Prayer will fill you with the peace you need as you wait on God to restore your marriage. Every married person knows that the traditional thorns in the bed of roses eventually showed up, even in the most blissful of marriages. So if your marriage is in trouble, it is not the time to abandon your marriage. Instead, it is the time to stand firm in faith and engage in prayer. For the fervent prayer of the righteous will avail much. If your marriage is already under attack, these prayer points are perfect for you. Pray them as often as you can until you receive victory. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, forgive my spouse and me for allowing our love to wax cold and help us to revive the stones of our first and genuine love. Let the passion and desire that drew us to one another be revived in our hearts again. Let our hearts burn within us again. I realize that a lot has transpired over the years, but I also realize that your grace is sufficient and your strength is made perfect in weakness. May you perfect our love in this moment of weakness. My Father in heaven, Help my spouse and me to model our marriage on the pattern of Ephesians 5. You command the husband to love the wife just as Christ loved the church, and you also command the wife to submit to the husband. I must confess that this often seems like a tall order, but I also recognize that you wouldn't tell us to do something that you knew was impossible. I humbly ask for your help in our marriage. That as we seek the motto of the Bible in our marriage, our romance will be rekindled, and we will not desire any form of satisfaction outside our union. Lord Jesus, I pray for the peace that surpasses human understanding in our marriage. The world is turbulent enough, and home should be a place where we can count on getting peace. After dealing with the issues that we deal with on a daily basis, my spouse, my kids, and I deserve to come home to a peaceful environment where we can rejuvenate and be ready to tackle the challenges of the next day. Home shouldn't be a place of battle, of pain and anguish. Let your peace overshadow our marriage so much that home will be the oasis of hope again. Thank you in advance for your help, Lord. We ask for forgiveness for allowing infidelity to almost destroy our marriage. Even though it looks like there is no coming back from this, I ask you for mercy and for a second chance to make things right. Open my eyes to see where I may be falter, and I take authority against this spirit of fornication and infidelity that is working overtime to ruin my marriage. I rebuke that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that my spouse and I are free from this spirit of unfaithfulness, and we shall always be committed to one another in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, you have said in your word that you hate divorce. You made it clear to the disciples that even though you allowed it in Israel to the law of Moses, it wasn't really your will for your children' marriages to end that way. And I choose to believe that your will for marriage is to stand the test of time instead of being another statistic of divorce. I take authority against the bondage of divorce that is trying to attack my family from different angles. I declares the word of Matthew 15 verse 13 that because this tree was not planted by my heavenly Father, it shall be uprooted in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the bondage of divorce be broken now in Jesus' name. My Father in heaven, you promise in your word to bless us with the fruit of the womb. I stand on that promise and come against the spirit of barrenness and impotence in my family. You are the one who blesses couples with children and irrespective of what the situation around me look like. I believe that you are blessing us with children too. 
the same way you open the womb for our matriarch of faith, Sarah, you are also blessing us as a family. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer and taking away our shame and pain. I approach the throne of grace with boldness for I need your mercy. I rededicate the life of my spouse and I to you that we might continue to lead holy and quiet lives that brings glory to you. Father, I realize that we are up against an enemy that is constantly seeking an opportunity to devour us. I ask that you help my spouse and me to always be alert and sober. I take authority against the spirit of Jezebel that comes to seduce me and my spouse to lust after other people. May that spirit not take root in us. May any such weapon to the enemy go back to sender without achieving its intended purpose. Like Job make a covenant with his eyes not to look lustfully upon a woman. I pray that you will help my spouse and me not to fall for the cheap tricks of the enemy. Father in heaven, it is your will for us to prosper and be in good health just as our soul prospers. It is not your will for us to struggle financially as a family to the point that our marriage gets threatened. I pray that you are going to heal our finances as a couple. And even more importantly, I pray that you are going to help my spouse and me to be better stewards of the resources you entrust to us. As we do that, may you help my spouse and me to continue flourishing in our different pursuits. May money and the like thereof not cause unnecessary strain in our marriage. Heavenly Father, your word reminds me that even though we live in the world, we cannot wage war as the world does. Right now my marriage is under attack, but it is more of a spiritual attack. My war is not against human beings, but against the powers of darkness that are working against my marriage. I take the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the belt of truth, the shell of faith, and the sword of the spirit. Father, I wish war in the spiritual realm against any power of darkness that has been assigned to cause havoc against my family. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I stand on my watch and declare that the devil's dart will be quenched by the shell of faith, and they will now reach my family. I enjoy victory from today henceforth. Lord Jesus, I ask for your help. My spouse and I are in really bad place because our trust has been broken. We want to trust again, but the damage that has done was great. Humanly speaking, it looks impossible to get back to where we were before. But I take comfort in the promise of your word that what might be impossible with men is possible with God. I therefore lift this heavy burden to you and leave it at your cross. Help us to your divine providence to reach a place where we can trust one another again. Father in heaven, as we believe you for the healing of our marriage, I realize there is also a need for the emotional healing of my spouse and I. We have hurt each other deeply and the wounds will indeed leave scars, but I am also cognizant of the fact that you are a great physician. There is no wound that is too bad that you cannot heal, and I therefore come to you in faith asking for the healing of my emotions. Help me to get over every wound and be totally healed as well in Jesus' name. You show us the importance of forgiving those who wronged us when you forgive the soldiers who crucified you. You also reminded us that if we do not forgive our brethren, then we shouldn't expect God to forgive us. I therefore want to follow your example and ask that you may help me to truly forgive my spouse for everything and anything they may have done against me, whether knowingly or unknowingly. And because I have forgiven them, I will no longer hold any grudge. Thank you for the liberating power of forgiveness. Lord, I praise you because you always come through for me. I have lacked nothing. Thank you for the blessing of marriage and your promise to keep it strong till the end. Help me wait on you to restore everything that is broken in my marriage. Strengthen my heart to keep seeking your face till I see answers to my prayers. I know that waiting for you is never in vain. Lord, thank you for your guiding light that leads me along the right path in life. You always show me the way to deal with any situation I face in my life. I ask that you change me your ways in marriage so I may embrace them. My desire is to follow your lead in my marriage even as you restore it to its former glory. Give me fresh insight into the root causes of the problems in my marriage 
and show me how to deal with them in Jesus' name. Lord, you are a God of restoration, and I ask you to restore the splendor and glory of my marriage. When my spouse and I work as one, it brings you glory and display your wonder. There are many things I have stripped our marriage of its glory, and I ask that you help us deal with them. May the restoration of our marriage bring you glory. Lord, thank you for always helping my spouse and I through the difficult moments we face. We have encountered troubles that have torn our marriage apart and have left us broken and weary. Revive our hearts so we can continue trusting and waiting on you to restore our marriage. Give us the strength we need to keep going and where we have grown faint, fill us with your power. Help my spouse and I to rise again so we may praise and worship you every day in Jesus' name. Lord, heal our hearts from the pain and anguish of our broken marriage. The broken of our marriages left us angry at each other and we don't talk. We knew our hope that we may believe our marriage can stand the test of time. Reach into the hearts of my spouse and I and take away the disappointment, the fear, the regret and defeat we feel. I believe in your healing touch and I thank you in advance for the healing in Jesus' name. Lord, you have shown me the power of prayer and all that he has achieved in my marriage. Help my spouse and I to be transparent with each other and not hide our true selves. Grant me the grace to deal with my spouse with honesty and to always pray for her. Show us how to pray for each other despite our troubles and disagreements. Heal our hearts as we forgive and pray for the needs of the other. Give us the patience we need to wait for you to redeem our wasted years in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for being a compassionate father to me. Today I ask that you show my spouse and I compassion for where we have failed to walk in your ways. Where we turn our backs on each other, help us face each other and talk. Restore our lost time together and help us enjoy having conversations like we once did. Soften our hearts towards each other in Jesus' name. Lord, when my marriage is falling apart, please lift it up once more. Repair our broken walls and restore what the enemy has ruined. Let your presence never leave my spouse and I, and may we always seek your face. Strengthen the areas of our marriage that are weak and restore the proper foundation so it can stand in Jesus' name. Lord, you are a forgiving God, and you are faithful to forgive us when we sin against you. Forgive my spouse and I for where we walked away from you because of the pain and discomfort of our marriage. We lost trust in you and blame you for many things. I repent for not allowing you to work in my heart. Cleanse my spouse and I from unrighteousness and restore a pure spirit in each of us. Restore our marriage to better than it was. May we never depart from you in Jesus' name. Lord, you are the way maker and your ways are always perfect. Show my spouse and I your ways and help us to follow them in our marriage. Guide us on the right action steps to take as you restore our marriage. May we not deviate from your ways, but hold on to them for the sake of our marriage. Show us the right path to follow and help us walk in it in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for your gift of salvation. Today I'm free because of you, Jesus. You have been with me always, and you have promised to never leave or forsake me. Help me keep my eyes on you because you are the one who helps me keep my faith in you. I will abide in you and pray for my spouse to do the same, so you will always abide in us and we will bear lasting fruits. Lord, you are my strength when I am weak. I can rejoice because you have promised to strengthen me when my strength fails me. My marital troubles have weakened me and I want to give in to the temptation to quit. Restore my strength and energy to keep believing for a breakthrough in my marriage. Show me how to pray for my marriage according to your will. Lord, thank you for providing my spouse and I a good life full of your blessings. We lack nothing because you have given us everything. Restore all resources we have lost because of the turmoil in our marriage. May our cup overflow once more and may our love last forever. Lord, I praise you because your glory has arisen over my spouse and I. Make your face shine upon us during this trying time. May we feel your presence as we struggle to make sense of all that is going on between us. 
Show us your favor and make a way of restoration where there seems to be none. Give us favor with those you have appointed to help us work to our marital problems. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you are my hope for the salvation of my marriage. I don't know the cause of the troubles I'm facing in my marriage. If there are generational marital curses working against it, please show me. Deliver my spouse and I of any marriage curses we have inherited without knowing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.